Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing my sister's nails and I'm excited. Not going to lie, I did do them at work. So she came to Glitter Planet HQ and we did them there. So I wasn't completely set up for filming and all of that good stuff. But I thought, you know what? I still want to film this set. I still want to capture it and share it with you guys. So here we are getting the full process going. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already. Give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and yeah, let's get straight into it. I already went ahead and did already begin to prep the nails and then I decided, you know, I am going to film this. I wasn't initially going to, which is why I've already started, but I'm coming in with the baby scraper and the nippers and I'm just beginning to prepare the nails and the cuticle to apply this set. So I'm just pushing away and lifting any dead skin and cuticle on the nail plate and then I'm coming in with the nippers and just trimming it away. Now that I've finished that process and I've cleansed the nail, I'm just coming in with my white sponge buffer and just buffing the nails, making sure that I've got rid of any kind of little flyaway bits, any little, you know, just bits that I don't want on the nail surface. The corner of the buffers are really great just for getting up in there, making sure everything is prepped and ready to go. So for this set, I grabbed a size 14 aqua brush. Don't ask me why in the right mind I blooming well did that because my sister has the smallest nails. And But I was just so like, I don't know. I just walked past the rack and I was like, yes, size 14, here we come. Um, so instead of preparing it off camera, I thought, you know what? I'm going to prepare it with you guys. So I've removed it from the tube and we're going to come in and break that seal. So the brushes are held in a gum just to keep the bristles aligned and so that they don't get bent and kinked in transit or whilst they are being made. And then when you get your brush, obviously you want to release and remove that gum. So I'm just coming in gently twizzling it in my hands. We're not bending the bristles. We're not kind of causing any distress to those hairs. We are being very, very gentle at this point. I'm coming in you can see all the debris and the gum kind of flicking out you want to do this for a good few minutes like five minutes really get it in there get it going um if you leave any of this in there whether if it's in the center of the brush especially you're going to get like a splitting brush or your product will clog up in there so it is really really important that you do prep your brush correctly if you feel like you've prepped your brush already and you are having issues a tip that I can give you is to just come in with some mild warm water and a soft soap, like a baby soap or a shampoo, and shampoo the hairs. These are 100% clean skin brushes from Glitter Planet, so it's like a natural hair. You can come in with that warm water and, you know, shampoo it basically, get rid of any extra gum that you may have left in there. Um, of course, I, I didn't need to do that in this video. So once I'd flicked out all the brush hairs, I literally submerged it in my monomer and, you know, aligned the bristles. And that's how it turned out. Bomb, ready to go. Um, I love it. So, yeah, I'm also going to use the straight coffin nail tips. And they are these ones. They are absolutely beautiful. Haven't used them in a hot minute. So I was excited to get those. And I'm going to be applying those with the instant nail glue. Um, I will be leaving any dis uh, descriptions, <laughs> any links and products that I'm using in the description box. So definitely check that out if you want to, you know, know what I'm using or you want to pick some up for yourselves if you like the look of something. So I'm just going to come in and apply the tips to the free edge.
also going to come in with another angle so i'm coming on to do the other hand and apply the nail tips there but i thought you know what let's let's shake it up a little let's get to it let's show these guys another angle and um, because you know sometimes when you're looking above all the time you don't kind of get the same i don't know you don't get the full experience i guess so i thought i'm gonna flip the camera and we're gonna apply these tips on the other hand and i'm going to share that process with you guys as well i mean hopefully it helps some of you guys out at the minute i'm just sizing up the tips make sure it, and making sure that they fit from sidewall to sidewall you don't want them overhanging or you don't want them too short if they are too small you want to choose a different tip altogether there's no way that you can try and make that fit if they are too large and you don't have the correct exact size you can come in with some stoic scissors and trim them down or just with your hand file so i'm just going to go ahead and apply the nail tips on this hand and as always guys products are used that i'm using are from my website which is glitterplanetuk.com and you can use code ninja5 for five percent off we also have a rewards program where you can sign up for an affiliate account so you get your own link and when your followers or um, anybody uses your link to shop from they will get a discount and you will also get points to spend on products on the website okay so now that i've applied my tips i'm coming in with the tool envy nail mate tip cutters they come in this forks leather pouch and we're going to go ahead and trim the length of these tips also notice that i have this um black paper sheet in the background these are new to the website i'm going to be getting them on they'll either be on right now or come in very soon and they come in a pack of 50 they are freaking bomb let me tell you they are kind of lined at the back and your monomer will not seep through like i was like shook honestly i love them they are just so fabulous they're just disposable towels um but i think they're just great at the minute with you know just being sanitary and clean and making sure everything is refreshed and new for each customer the glitter that i'm using in today's set is pink gummy this is from our jelly baby collection and it's a new collection that we have on the website it's absolutely freaking stunning so pretty perfect for spring and pastel vibes and really like my dog just came up to me she's like sniffing in my face like and then flops her ears so if you heard that she says hi she is the cutest i'm gonna put a picture on actually yeah. just give me a sec Good So now that I have applied my primer, I'm coming in with the full set and I'm using pure pink and soft white for this entire set and I'm pairing it with the glitter that I shared with you guys. Now, as I said, I'm using a size 14 brush. My sister's nails are the tiniest and she just wanted like short length, medium short, I guess. Um, I don't know what possessed me to pick up a 14 brush, but I did. Here I am figuring it out and you'll see on the next nail what kind of difference it can make to the application depending on the brush that you are using. So let's get into the details of that. So if you feel like you are struggling with your application, you feel like product is running everywhere, you're just not quite getting it, maybe your brush is too big for where you are at in your nail journey. Um, or just the style of nails that you are doing it does matter 
what you are doing as to what size brush you want to use um you'll see here i'm applying this absolutely fine but when i come to do the cuticle bead because the flat size 14 brush has more hairs in the bristles like the weight of the hairs is more it's not necessarily wider or um longer or anything like that it's it's fuller which means it holds more product so if you're not used to using it or the nails you are creating don't require as much liquid first off you're going to feel like you're wasting a lot of product second off you may have the issue that i'm going to have in just a moment but i wanted to keep it in there just to demonstrate to you guys how much it can affect certain things so if you're struggling you're feeling disheartened maybe it's the brush size that you are using or maybe it's the style of nails so like if you are doing a short set choose a smaller brush if you have a client that has really teeny tiny nail beds that shorter brush is what you should be going for um sorry the smaller brush if you want a client if a client comes in they've got larger nail beds and they want extra long nails go for the larger brush it's going to make your life a lot easier but look here the brush is just loaded with so much product in the belly that it's come out into obviously the powder it's caused that polymerization the reaction to happen but with too much liquid in there the bead is too wet of a consistency for my cuticle area and you saw it just went down 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 to, to the ground nearly <laughs> like damn <laughs> i was shook to the core but you know what everybody everybody still goes through these things whether you've been doing nails for a year two years five years 15 years like you still have moments like this so please don't feel bad don't feel hard on yourself don't be mean to yourself because it is what it is we can fix these things it's not permanent we can grow we can learn and yeah it's all just a process and that is fine so i hope that helped somebody hopefully it kind of put some things into perspective for you guys um I always do have different brushes like so for example this size 14 brush for this set was absolutely amazing for the encapsulation process which you will see further along in the video because I'm doing one large bead and I'm going from the cuticle right to the free edge without having to pick up another bead like amazing how much time is that going to cut out lords um so yeah it's just about choosing the brush and the tools for the correct moment and process that you are doing at that time and the only way that you can know as a nail tech of what you want to use is just by making the mistakes and making the you know using different things at different times and see oh yes i liked that like that was good that helped me out oh i won't do that again because that was difficult like i would not use a size 14 brush again doing my sister's nails whilst creating the design I already knew I shouldn't have done it, but I already got it. It was too lazy to turn back. And honestly, I just thought, why the heck not? I knew I could do it, but I knew it was going to cause me some slight issues. And I guess I was just meant to do it to share this knowledge with you guys. Because look at all that stuff you learned. <laughs> um, okay, so I've applied my glitter. This design is really basic and super pretty at the same time, so... I hope you guys enjoy it. It can be done in so many colours. If you want pink, blue, purple, green, whatever, just switch it up. It'll look bomb.
Also guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you didn't already. I would really love if you could go ahead and do that. I'm always constantly uploading videos every single week for you guys to enjoy and by you subscribing and liking and sharing and commenting, it just gives me more confidence, gives me more motivation, gives me just the drive and enthusiasm that I need to keep making the videos. Okay guys, so now I've applied my design, it's time to come in with my crystal clear acrylic and encapsulate this entire set. At this point, I'm also going to be focusing on the structure and the shape of the nail to make sure that it's as I want it. Make sure that the nails are strong and durable, that are going to last and not be lifting or anything like that. So I went ahead and filed this hand off of camera and I'm going to come in and file the other hand. We're just going to use the 100, 180 grit nail files to do this and yeah, let's get to it. Let's crisp these babies up.
So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my top coat. I did go ahead and cleanse the nails, got my sister to wash her hands to get rid of any dust. And I'm applying the super gloss top coat. And then we're going to cure in the light for a full 60 seconds. And then, of course, I'm going to share with you guys some close-ups, some final results. And we're going to head outside and get a natural light video as well. Because why the heck not? The sun was out. And when the sun's out everybody's out like it just makes everything super happy and super fun Okay guys, so this is the final look. I literally am living for this simple set. So cute and adorable. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and the various parts of it. I know it was a little bit all over the place, but hopefully you learned something today or just simply enjoyed watching. Um, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. And as always, Please remember that you are bomb.com, lit as fuck, and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. See you later, alligator.